Next news and last news is out of Nigeria. 500 shackled children freed from third Islamic boarding school in North Nigeria. Everyone, the story is crazy. Okay, so in Nigeria, since late September, there have been three different raids on Islamic schools, okay, where over 1,200 males, some as young as five years old, have been freed, okay? They've been chained to walls, molested, and beaten in these Islamic schools. So this latest one uh, was a raid on a school called Malnaiga in the city of Katsina. Um, and with all three of their of these schools that have been raided, they have found the same things. There was one building uh, up front where the students there were treated great. Um, the conditions were wonderful. Um, everything looked on the up and up. But then there was a separate building where, in this case, the school of Malnaiga, 500 boys and young men were chained to walls, uh, sexually abused and beaten. Okay, so all three of the schools that have been raided in Nigeria since September, they have found these same uh, conditions, a school that was nice and a school where the students were just chained and abused. Wow. Why were they ch what, what was the point of so this is which group has done this which Islamic boarding school is this the terrorist or just not random because we know which Boko Haram had kidnapped a whole bunch of girls right but this is right. just this is not Boko Haram this is just an Islamic boarding school <laughs> yes these are so these are parents are sending their children to these private schools uh, madrasas wow. yeah. because they provide a better quality of education than the state schools. So they're paying, they're sending their, their sons off to learn here, right? Oh my um, God. So even by, some adults, hmm. what's up? This is voluntarily was done by the parents? So this, these yes. weren't even kidnapped? Because huh. that, that school up front, which shows all the kids who are healthy, being fed, have their own sleeping situation, all that stuff, you know, it looks good. It looks like a good school. But then they're taking the money from the parents and chaining up, I guess, extras, maybe. We don't really know at this point. Um, Why are they yeah. chained up? Can somebody explain that to me? <laughs> Why um, newcomers and rebels were generally held in the second building, victims said. Although students in the first were sometimes taken there and beaten and molested. What? So it looks like, yes. So the students, the victims, the survivors are telling everybody that the new kids, once once that first school was filled up, anyone new that came in was chained. And then if any of the kids from the first school started acting up and being bad, they'd be taken to that second building, chained up and molested and beaten. And 500 of them were chained up? 500? It's 500 in one school. In one okay. school? What the hell? How many among, are... among three schools that were found over 1,200 males. So how many of them are still chained up that we don't know about? Exactly. Okay. And that's that's what they're they're diving into here. There's there's gonna be more raids. The government is has already made a statement saying we cannot allow centers where people, male or female, are mal are maltreated in the name of religion. Um how is this in the name of religion? Which, which part, the school right now. I mean I'm against Islam, you know, but which part of Islam is this? <laughs> I mean I don't remember anything yeah. in Islam supporting this. This has nothing, in my opinion, you know, this has nothing to do with religion. This is just bad people who want to make money. Right. Uh, so, we, again, we need to be fair when it comes to criticizing Islam. Islam has a lot of horrific, barbaric, violent, anti-woman, anti-human, anti-scientific, anti-many good things, teachings that we call out and we, we want Islam to die as a religion. But if something is a, is a, when we see a horror story like this, and we can't find a direct link between it and Islam, we can't just blame it on Islam just because it's an Islamic boarding school. Because I don't know anything in Islam that promotes this. Okay? Again, I'm not defending Islam because Islam promotes a lot of other horrific things, but not this. Right? Can somebody point to anything in Islam that supports this? I mean, I, and maybe if there were girls, you could find more support for it uh, in Islam than, you know, I mean, these are Muslim boys, right? They have, they should be, and under Islam, at least they should be able to enjoy m m right, more rights than any, any other group of people, right? They're Muslim, well, he, they're men, this is something that they should be enjoyed 
I mean, if you're in Islam, if you're if you're a Muslim and you're men, that's you can't get much superior than that. Um, right. You should be able to enjoy all the freedoms that you that you want. You can't just somebody can can't just chain you up and take away your freedoms like this. So, this is not Islamic. Even though this is an Islamic boarding school, this is not Islamic in any shape or form. Not that I could think of anything, unless I'm missing something and somebody could point to that to me. But go on, sorry, Ali. Um, Muslim Rights Concern, which is a local advocacy group there in, in Nigeria, is saying that as many as 10 million children are educated in privately owned madrasas across Nigeria. Te um, wow. That's a lot. So, yeah. So, there are probably a whole bunch more other kids shackled right now that we don't even know about. Right. There are probably kids being molested right now as we speak while chained up, and we don't know about it. Oh, it's terrible. By the way, if if that is the case, where where is the hashtag bring back our boys? Because there was a hashtag bring back our girls. Is this a is this kind of um, gender privilege when it comes to girls when they get kidnapped? And this is slightly different. I'm not trying to say it's better, but this is slightly different in the sense that these weren't these boys weren't kidnapped. Their parents did, you know, the, yeah. send them here. Um, so maybe a different hashtag is definitely warranted, but free. Free our boys or something? Yeah, free our boys, right? Yeah, because it's unfair if the girls get the attention when they're kidnapped and when 500 boys are shackled, they don't get the hashtag or something like oh, that. Oh, right now, 1,200. Over 1,200. 500 just at one school. How, how many girls were kidnapped by Boko Haram? Uh, I think that was, was it 500? Uh, 200, no, 276 oh, wow. students. Okay, so we had like Michelle Obama and everybody having hashtag bring back our girls. We have had like we we have uh, we are having at least twelve hundred boys here. So we we need to have a, like somebody make a hashtag for them as well. Like this case, if this case doesn't get as much attention as the two hundred and seventy female students that were kidnapped, there's a there's a sexist bias happening here. I think. Don't you? I don't know. Maybe. I do think that. Uh, when I mean when the w the interesting thing about the whole bring back our girls situation was that when they kidnapped those female students do you know what they did with the boy the Boko Haram group do you know what they did with the boys when they took over the school they killed the boys okay so they when the Boko when when terrorists took over the schools they kidnapped the girls and they killed the boys and everybody was like, bring back the girls. And I was like, yeah, but <laughs> what about the boys? <laughs> they killed the, they kill the boys. So like, I, I, I do think sometimes, I mean, there's a lot of race, sexism in, against girls uh, in these countries that does need more attention, but there's also some unfairness to the boys that doesn't get attention, I think sometimes. And uh, yeah. that people don't pay attention to in some of these situations. Um, they, they're, I mean, fem men enjoy a lot of privileges, especially in third world countries. But in some, there are examples where where girls do enjoy, b women and girls enjoy some privileges, especially when it comes to getting support and activism for their cause. So let's make it make it not the case in this situation. Like share the story. These were boys that are being molested, boys that are being chained up. Please make sure that we also share th this story as much as we would have if there were girls being um, kidnapped, chained, or molested. Uh, Joe was saying third one is less. Oh, third one in less than a month. What a great religion it is. Again, I don't think this is because of Islam. Uh, no, it's just bad people. Just bad people. Yeah. But, Again, it's important, there, you know, when you are, when you admit something is not because of Islam, it's easier to take you seriously when you actually blame Islam for something that Islam deserves to be blamed for, right? Um, Christy is saying, never forget. BG is saying, and men too, there were, there were men being mistreated at those schools. Yeah, exactly. okay. All right. Um, Shapam, did you want to add anything to this? No. All right, good. So that was our last news. Uh, thank you, everybody. We managed to keep it under two hours as we try every week. Um, thank you, Shopam. Thank you, Ali. Um, 
Thank you, everybody in the la live chat. I see J.A., William, Terrell, um, Jody, and on, on YouTube, I see Christy, uh, Vibrantly, Doorknob Head, Overnight Vegan, um, and other godless atheists. BJ and Christy, it's great to have you here. Thank you for moderating the live chat. Thank uh, you so much. Yep. Love you guys. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Please share. Please, 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 please share our content share our videos share our podcast leave up these are always released on a podcast format as well so please go to itunes and leave us a review there um again i appreciate your engagement and see you guys again next week bye bye everyone <laughs> bye okay <laughs> Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.